thoughts are too big Can I get some comfort please I guess I should have been honest It breaks in my heart It's weighing me down baby I'm like a river that's overflowed The sooner you know it the less do we hurt Let me speak the truth I know you don't want to face it You think it's too late But I can see past the rain Hello friends, welcome back to Living with Cambria and welcome if you are new. So today is another episode in my hoarder series and we are at a brand new house. I'm super excited to tackle this project. This is a mom of four. She's got two adult children and then two teenagers. So she is super busy. She does a lot of work from home and she's actually going through a separation right now. So this whole house refresh is going to be just a huge, big new start for her, and I am super excited to help her just reset, restart her entire life. So if you've been with my channel for a little while, you already know this, but if you are new here, I like to start each new project in my organized chaos phase. So pretty much going section by section throughout the room and organizing just by category at this point. So paper, clothing, and miscellaneous. And sometimes I have a couple other sections, but those are usually my main sections, especially with working in a bedroom. And I like to just quickly straighten up the bed because the bed in a bedroom is usually my work surface. And in this situation, it is where we are storing all the clothing that I find and we can go around. Now, in this video, you're not going to be seeing the dressers or the closet because this is a very big room. I actually was here from, well, I got there, uh, I think at 9.30, but didn't start working till 10. So from 10 till four, so six hours of some extreme cleaning, and there still was those couple projects to do. So in the next weeks, I'm gonna be working on the master bath and the master closet. And at the end of this video, you'll see the mess of those two and why those definitely need to be tackled on their own. I get a little bit breathless. My thoughts are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? Now, if you are looking to tackle somewhere in your home that has gotten to be overwhelming, because I find most of the time the reason these rooms get to be this way isn't always a situation of that these people aren't clean. It's that something has happened and it got a little messy and then just grew and grew and got to a point to be overwhelming and they didn't even know where to start. So whenever I'm talking to people, I always tell them, set aside an hour a day. Don't overwhelm yourself that you have to get the whole area done. But if you set an alarm for just one hour and section off the room, don't jump from area to area, just do a section at a time. One, it's going to keep you motivated because you're going to see the progress. And two, it's going to help take away that overwhelming feeling. For me, because I don't live in these places, it's not quite as overwhelming for me to tackle them. But I know if you're living in it, you got the attachment of the things this can be extremely, extremely overwhelming. So make sure that you take your time, you section it off, and really focus. That is going to be huge. If you're jumping from area to area, you don't see the progress, and it's really going to make it a lot harder to stay motivated and keep at it. But remember, every little step forward, 
even if it's the smallest of steps, is still a step in the right direction. And you can totally do this. Cigarettes on the table Dirty plates on the stove I don't know if you know where to start But I know where you'd like to be I'm afraid that I've lost you Cause you're hiding from me Yeah, it shows that it's cost you a lot to be like the rest of us To be like the rest of us I've been waiting so long for the storm to arrive I know that it's in you I know that it's in you Dancing away with the world in your eyes Oh, goodbye, Virginia Goodbye, Virginia Now, one thing you really want to remember to do is make sure you go through every single item. Often, when we take on a big project, we group things together and we don't really go through the things. But to really get a place organized and to a place that you can maintain it is you have to go through everything, which goes back to sectioning it off and giving yourself a structured amount of time and staying motivated because that way you can work one area at a time really well and not be too overwhelmed by it. Now, when I'm going through sections, what I normally tell my homeowners is to grab the stuff that you know right away is stuff you can get rid of, right away is stuff you can um, donate, anything that you see and you're like, all right, that, that, that can go, grab those things first because then real quick you've got a big chunk out of there and then start going through the tedious stuff. Um, also, when you go through things like clothing, especially if you have a lot of clothing, and I feel like nowadays in this society, most of us have a ton of clothing. If it's not a right away yes, just make it a no. Because when you're getting dressed in the morning, if it wasn't a yes when you were going through it and trying to decide if you were going to keep or donate it, then you're not going to pick it to wear for that day. So make sure you go through everything and make sure you try and stay as focused as possible and not jump around. Now, the other thing I noticed a lot with going through this room is there was a lot of just bags full of stuff. There are a lot of shoe boxes. And for the most part, I do not recommend keeping things like that. I actually don't like shoe boxes at all. If you like your shoes to be separated into boxes, I'm recommend getting those clear boxes that you can get because if you're not seeing them you're not going to grab for them um, but best thing is to get a shoe rack or if you have a closet that allows you to display them do it that way shoe boxes take up a ton of space you're not going to see the shoes so you're in the end probably not going to wear them
So you notice that I saved some of the boxes to like store receipts and stuff. That was purely because she works from home, she does a lot of itemized expenses. So I wanted to make sure any receipts I found, I put in an area that she could go through it and decide if she needed them for work expenses or not. Otherwise, the other boxes I broke down. Um, you'll also notice that I keep certain boxes to put the items that we have to go through in. I do that so that we're not saying here's a huge pile you have to go through. I can literally grab one bin or one box and say, okay, go through this first. And once again, it's for the motivation aspect of things and to keep them not overwhelmed with the process. Now, when it comes to dressers and nightstands, I highly recommend leaving at least one drawer for a lot of the little knickknacks that you grab for all the time, but that really don't need to be on top. The issue with having surfaces that have things, a lot of things on top is you're more apt to just be like, oh, well, there's something already there, so you just throw another thing on until it's just out of control like these surfaces so if you have drawers in your nightstands keep them so that you can put the things in the books you read at night the journal you write in um, I keep a chapstick and my water bottle over there but I keep it very specific to the area a clean uncluttered space is more likely to stay clean but the second you start allowing just throwing stuff on there, it will definitely get overwhelming. You'll also notice as I'm doing this, I'm not doing any deep cleaning, and I have mentioned this in previous videos. When I'm doing a huge decluttering and organizing, I don't deep clean. I will surface clean as I go, but I save deep cleaning for the after process. Once again, you're gonna get to be way overwhelmed if you try to do all of it at once. So first go through and organize and declutter and do all of that. Actually, when it comes to spring cleaning, a lot of the reason it's good to declutter and organize in the new year is because it's a lot easier to spring clean and deep clean when everything is organized, decluttered already. You don't wanna do all of that at the same time, otherwise you're just going to overwhelm yourself. It's one thing if you're working in an area that's not that bad and it's just a little declutter, but if you have a big project, definitely split those two things up. I know where you always Just for the season 
Now, since we were planning on, like I said, going through the entire closet and all the drawers in a following day, what I wanted to do with the clothes that I found just laying around was go through everything real quick and declutter right away this section of clothing. And then I honestly told her just to wash everything and leave it for me when I come next week so that we can organize it and put it away. But since everything was just kind of mixed together, I wanted everything to get washed. Um, that way it's just, you you know it's clean then. Um, so much of this was on the floor already, mixed with clean and dirty. It just made the most sense to let's declutter it real quick wash everything and then when i come back really tackle those other areas in her room Now, I think it's really important as busy adults, especially as moms, to make sure your room is your safe place. It's your place to go and relax. That's why when I did this big walkthrough today, now I always do that when I start a new house, I like them to take me around to all the areas that need to be worked on. That way we can decide. And that way I can also figure out what's going to be most beneficial to the homeowner and bedrooms to me are so important. This is going to be her space. So I was so happy to get this area to be a nice, just relaxing haven for her. Somewhere she can go to get away from crazy teenage hormones and all of that. So definitely work on the areas that are going to benefit you the most first. Because that's also going to give you the motivation to keep on going. But Work on the things for you because if you are constantly doing it for others, it's way easier to get overwhelmed. Do something that makes you feel good and I know this space for her is going to be a huge, huge difference to not just motivation but just how she's feeling on a day-to-day -day basis. Waking up in a clean, clean, <laughs> can't talk, clean a uh, peaceful area is huge and going to bed in a clean, peaceful area is so, so important. Don't wish for indifference. You're not one of those. We fall, we fall, but we always rise up through it all, it all. We get a little wiser. Tell me 
Now, I was super excited about this before and after. This ladder shelf here, we actually ended up moving. I didn't show that on camera because she had bought a new piece of furniture that I helped her put together, but it was kind of tedious and getting on camera was just would have been kind of a pain, but you'll see that in the after coming up very soon. In the end, we had two very large trash bags, we also had a ton of donations to go through and then a bunch of stuff that just had to be put back into their homes and out of this room. And I know she's just going to be so much more relaxed and peaceful in her room with this after. And here it is for you. This piece I think looks beautiful here. It's simplistic. It's open. And then everything is nice and clean and clear. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and love this before and after as much as I do. I will say I took your advice and tried to get some more after shots and a little bit slower. That way you guys could see it a little bit better. I know that you guys requested that. If you guys ever have requests, definitely leave them down below. It helps me make sure you guys are enjoying what you're seeing and to just up my quality for all of you guys. Now, here is what we are planning for next week. I have not filmed this video yet, so I haven't decided if it's going to be the master closet and the master bath, but both of these areas definitely needed to be tackled, and I knew it would be a full day, and there's no way I could fit it into the six hours I had on this day. So let me know down below if you guys are excited to see next week. But for everyone that made it to the end, I love you guys so, so much. You are such a huge support to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye!